So over here, you can see that I have a form. And if I were to go around onto the view menu right here and go to layout view, then what I can do is I can select out individual cells in the form as you can see right here. So I'm just going to go around in the ID section and rename this. So I can go around right here and type in user ID. So I'm just going to say this is going to be, let's say, expert ID right here. The table itself uh, from which this is actually referenced won't change the field name right here. It only changes out in the form. You can also go around and then apply formatting over here. So you can select it, press uh, control B right here to bold it out over here as well. So let's say I'm just going to go around. This is going to be serial number and this is going to be expertise subject right here, just like this, as you can see. And you can go around over here and type in different things like skill level right here. And I'm going to say price of lesson right here, lesson taken right here, just like this. And there you go. That is how everything gets arranged right here. You can go around, resize out the column as well, according to how you like it. And that is how you can rename out the form fields right here. Similarly, what you can do is you can go around over here and insert out different form fields. So if I were to go around and go for insert below, you can see that there is cells right here. As you can see, I can click on insert below again right here. So if I were to go around right here, let's go around into expertise subject, keep it right here. And if I were to go around right here, keep this, uh, let me just keep this right here. But if I were to go around and merge these cells out, so if uh, what I can also do is I can select both of these cells right here. And then what I can do is I can merge them. So now what I can do is I can drag in uh, an information right here, just like this, so that we can arrange out the uh, forms in the way we like. So similarly, I can go around, select all of these data, drag it up over here as well. Similarly, on the top, you can see you can control out the padding right here. So you can go for none, you can go for narrow or medium right here. And similarly, work around with the padding of the cells over here as well. And you also have control margin. So you can have narrow margin right here or a wide margin depending on what you want. And the margins adjust itself according to this as well. So that is how you can rename form fields and merge form cells right here and control padding and control margins. Uh, to change the outlook of the form that you have in MS Access. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.